not all sleep is created equal when it comes to amino clearance. The critical stage is slow wave sleep, also called the deep sleep or stage N3. So during those slow wave sleep, three things happen simultaneously. First, the brain interstitial space volume increases by up to 60%. Second, during that deep sleep phase, neuronal firing decreases dramatically, reducing the production of amino acid beta in the first place. And third, during deep sleep, there is a coordinated wave pattern. So electrical slow waves that lead to blood flow oscillation, which couple to CSF pulsation. So this coupling drives wave clearance, and it's not just any slow waves. The relationship between amino acid and non-REM slow wave activity is specific to the low frequency range of 0.6 to 1 hertz and higher frequency spindles don't have the same clearance effect. Now here's the APOE4 specific finding. APOE4 carriers have 30 to 40 percent less REM sleep compared to non-carriers. So while slow wave sleep appears preserved, this REM deficit may contribute to cognitive vulnerabilities. And the most striking evidence, just one night of sleep deprivation increased amyloid beta accumulation by 5% in the hippocampus and thalamus of healthy humans. Just one night.